Hello punters and welcome to a Wednesday racing preview and, and tips uh, as I'll give my best bets and best each way plays for the races tomorrow. Of course we've got racing at Sandown and also the Randwick Kensington track up in New South Wales we'll be having a look at. We're hoping to build a bit of a bank ahead of the weekend's racing. We've got a terrific card of racing ahead. Um, keep an eye on that for during the week where I'll be posting out my video looking at all the preview of each race and the tips for each race. So hopefully we can build a bit of a bank starting tomorrow. So looking at Sandown first and foremost, I like one in the first race. It's a debutante for the Hawks team who have been flying as of late, and it's number nine, Holster. I think that, uh, this horse out of Tavistock's had two, three really nice jump outs leading into this. It's a $240,000 Easter buy. Uh, with Dwayne Dunn in the saddle, gets Barry Turley and can settle into a nice spot. And uh, might just be too good for these. I don't see this being a very strong maiden. So if there's one that can win, I think it's got a good chance. I think $5.50 and $2.10 the place is a pretty good price to have a look at. So it's race number one, number nine, Holster. Uh, moving on into race number race number three is is my next bet. I don't want, don't want to really touch the 2,400 meter race. I think that's a pretty tough one to navigate. Uh, but race number three, I do have another bet here over the 800 meters, benchmark 70. And it is a horse called uh, number seven, Tavistock Dancer. I thought this horse was pretty good first up uh, at so Sandown, uh, off a bit of a freshen up since it ran at Caulfield. Uh, finished in behind Ackermon and Kate Richards. We'll get a bit of a sense out of that form. It finished just behind uh, a horse called Spanish Point, who, of course, goes around in the race prior to this one over 2,400 metres. So we get a little bit of a form reference there. Thought it was a decent run uh, and... This horse will be getting back on top of the ground potentially. Or worst case is soft track, so I think this horse will definitely relish coming off the heavy back onto better conditions, so I'm happy to have it on top. It's race number three, number seven, Tavistock Dancer. Nice each way, it's a $4.80 and $1.95 the place. Uh, moving on into race number four now, and this is a very good three-year-old benchmark 70 race here. I think there's some good form that we could take out of this one. And one that's... Uh, I like to go with here is number seven, Wilmot Pass, first up here for the Anthony Freeman Yard. Uh, blinkers are on first time. His recent trial was just okay at Cranbourne. It was in King of Hastings' trial. thought it uh, came home pretty nicely under the heavy conditions. This is a horse that won brilliantly at Maui first up for, um, in its preparation, then went and was beaten by the astrologist and can't be done on that occasion when it jumped around as a favourite. So this horse uh, definitely has some ability. I think it's come back well. And we'll run a good race here tomorrow. It's paying four dollars forty and a dollar seventy the place. So it's race number four, number seven. Uh, will not pass for Anthony Freeman and Jamie Carr on the saddle. Moving on into race number five, and I do have another one here that I want to be with, and it is uh, number fifteen. Vada who resumes first up for the uh, James Cummings Stable. This horse uh, last preparation won brilliantly at Bendigo over the thousand metres. Then it went round at Flemington over twelve hundred metres. That was in a race won by Flit, and uh, the form of that race been pretty good. So I'm happy to be that on top here. I think it's got a bit of uh, ability. Gets Barrow two. Damian Lame in, in the saddle. I think uh, definitely will be one. To, to take in this race and carries the bottom weight, so I'm very happy to be that it's race number five, number 15, Varda at the four dollars and the dollar seventy the place. Moving on now to race number six, and there's another one I do like here, and it's uh, right coming into this race here. Uh, just have a look through. It's uh, race number. It's number 15, uh, Defence Attorney, who is currently the emergency. Is paying twenty dollars. Uh, I thought its first up run was terrific on heavy track, and there is scheduled to be rain tomorrow. So if we get into that heavy range, I think this horse will come right into it. It was a terrific win last time out. It was really well backed. Uh, looks to have come back well for the Trent Bus and now, now the young team. And if it gets the run, I think it'll be hard to beat. If it doesn't, I do want to be with number nine, excused for the Hayes and Dabnick stable. I thought this horse was very good first up. Of course, uh, running at Caulfield. Uh, that was, of course, in a three, in a group three race there behind uh, Exhilarates and Absolute Flirt. That's really supreme form this. So if a uh, defensive two doesn't get a run, I'm happy to be this horse, uh, number nine, excused each way at the $7, dollars 2 dollars 50 the place. And if it does get a run, I'm happy to have a bit of a spec at number 15, defensive attorney at $20 and $6 the place. Moving into race number seven at Sandown. And uh, again, another 
uh, pick here. It's a very nice race, and I'm very happy to be with uh, Jumbo Ozaki, number 12, at $2.50, this horse. It was very keen to back it last week, got scratched because of heavy conditions. Now, we could be getting that tomorrow, so just keep an eye out there, but I think this horse got a lot of ability. Second up, up to 400 metres, gets barrier five, which I think it'll be, will suit very nicely. It's a little bit of speed in the race, but I think it can uh, pause the in behind them, finish over the top late. Look, Rock's Castle is pretty hard to beat in that race as well. I've got a good opinion of it, but don't like the weight. I'd prefer to be Jumbo Ozaki with the better weight, so and the, probably the better draw as well. So it's race number seven, number 12, Jumbo Ozaki. Race number eight, I do like another one in this race as well. It's number six, Deep Euphoria, who goes around $4.60 and ninety five. the place. Real horror show last time. I just did not get a crack at him. thought it was a very good run. And as I mentioned, if the rain comes down, this horse will come right into play. I really like it. Give it a great chance tomorrow if we can get a good ride from barrier two. Going to need a little bit of luck, perhaps, again, coming deep in the field. But look at the speed map, I'd say. You know, you've got Pa and Prince. You've got Tony Nacone. There's a lot of speed in this race. I think this horse can come into it and finish over top of them late if it uh, gets a bit of luck in the race. So it's race number eight, number six, Deep Euphoria. Now, moving on now into the Randwick Kensington meeting tomorrow. Uh, looking at the card here, looking at the first race, so I do like one in the first, and it is number three, Entente, uh, who's on debut for the Gay Wardhouse and Adrian Botyard. Uh, there's, a, of course, a Daniel Deal three-year-old Colt. They've had some really good ones come out in debut, and this horse uh, looks to be a very good talent as well, and I think if it can get towards the speed, it will be too good for these. It looks to be a really nice horse uh, in the making, and I'm looking forward to seeing it debut. So it's race number one, number three, Entente at $2.70. Moving to race number two, I like number 10, Super Oasis here. has the wide barrier, which is a little bit of a concern, but there's a lot of speed in this race. It should be able to come over the top of them late. It was really good win at Kemba last time out of the 1,000 metres. Steps out that extra distance, uh, the extra 100 metres is going to suit perfectly. This horse ran some very good races last preparation, National Rill in the saddle. I think there's just so many ticks, and $4.20, but not only that, we get $1.85 to place as well. You could definitely have a good each-way play there. So race number two, number 10, Super Oasis. Moving to race number three, and there's no one I like here, and it's number eight, Human Nature. I think this horse uh, got rolled last time as a dollar fifty favourite at Kembla, uh, but steps up here, goes uh, into the second up here into the thousand metres, fifty four and a half kilos. Brand of Dull on the saddle. This is a horse that beat uh, Zarsen, of course, at Ramwick on the Kensington track last preparation, then beat Yes 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 on a trial. So I mean, this horse has clearly got some ability. Uh, obviously, maybe a bit went wrong last time out, but. Wouldn't be surprised if this horse comes out and wins. I'd rather take $3.80 about it than $2.15 about Royal Witness, who does have very good form, of course, beat God of Thunder recently. And God of Thunder, of course, came out last week and, and won really well uh, in the last of the card on Saturday. So give that a bit of a chance. But for me, Human Nature looks a nice bet, $3.80. I think it's a good horse. So I'm happy to be with it on top. So it's race number three, number eight, Human Nature at $3.80. Race number four, I do like one here as well. It's number five, Penhurst for Matt Smith. Uh, this horse steps up in distance for the first time. It raced brilliantly up last time out at Canterbury over the 900 metres. It finished by an Saba. Some pretty good form there. And uh, stepping up to the 2,400 metres, I think it's going to suit this horse perfectly. It looks to be a bit of a sting out of the ground, which uh, might help its chances. I think this just is, looks a really good bet. It looks to be not a heap of speed in the race, but I think just the extra step in this is going to suit this horse perfectly. So it's race number four, number five, Penner. So $5.50 and $2.20 the place. And here it is, the race number five, the best bet of the day, in my opinion. Number five, Zalate. I think it's going to be extremely hard to beat. Was very keen on it on Saturday. Got scratched right for this race. I think it's going to win here. Looking at last prep, first up over 400 metres, ran 2.7 lengths by Nikita Jane in a group one surround stakes. I mean, Runs anything like that sort of race, it'll win this easily. So $3.40, I think it's a very good price. Happy to bet it on top. It's race number five. Number five is the latte. It's my best bet of the day at $3.40. Um, that, of course, at Randwick. And my best bet at, um, at Sandown is definitely Jumbo at Zaki. Moving to race number six. Look pretty happy to beat number two, Rock, here. Couldn't have been any better last time out. It was a sensational win. And I think it'll do um, the same thing here again. Look, whatever conditions we get, doesn't phase this horse. Seems to get through the ground very well. Uh, it looks to be a bit of speed in the race. Might be able to pause just in behind them, do exactly what it did last time. And I still think $2 is a good price to take. I'm happy to be there at those odds. So it's race number six, number two, Rock. And moving to the last race, I do like another one here, and it's uh, number 11, Su Super Nide. The only problem with this horse is that it doesn't have much speed in the race, but... It didn't really have too much last time out. It really got close to winning and was very unlucky not to win. 
Goes to the 1,200 metres here. Second up into a 1,300 metre race. Think it'll suit much better. Happy to beat on top again. Give it one more chance to the $2. You might want to do a bit of a multi there of Rock and um, Super Poena. If you don't want to back them, uh, but, you know, back them both, perhaps at the $2, you can put them into a bit of a multi there and get a good price. So that's my best bets and best each way plays tomorrow at Sandown and, of course, uh, the meeting at Randwick Kensington Track. Hopefully we can build a very good bank to, uh, for Saturday. Really looking forward to the racing ahead, uh, some sensational racing coming up, and I'm hoping that this can be a, a little stepping stone into that and we can make some good money. So good luck for your follow tomorrow. Keep an eye out for my social media pages where you'll see all my videos and all my tips um, that I, I post up on there. So it's CN underscore racing tips on Instagram and Sea Lane Racing Tips on Facebook. So good luck, punters, you're following tomorrow. Enjoy the races. Enjoy a good pun if you um, do so, and hopefully we can get plenty of winners leading into Saturday.